Hi everyone, it's Eva with a new Sims 4 speed build and for today's video I am building a rustic wedding location for the Sims Sparked challenge. If you haven't heard about Sims Sparked, let me fill you in real quick. So basically the Sims created a TV show where popular Simmers like my favourite girl Plumbella are taking part in a competition to win $100,000 which is mad and it's super cool to get a TV show that basically revolves around gaming and actually gaming talent. Um, so yeah, simmers are presented with challenges in each episode where they have to create sims, builds and interesting stories in their groups um, and it's super fun to watch. Uh, two episodes have come out so far so if you haven't seen them yet definitely check them out. They're all available for free for everybody on YouTube on the BuzzFeed multiplayer channel. And another cool thing about this is that EA is releasing challenges in relation to the show and the first one was announced like two weeks ago I think. Anybody over 18 can participate and submit their creations. I think it's really really cool how it caters to multiple skills because there's three types of challenges so you can do the creator sim, the building or the storytelling part. I mean you can do all three if you want but you can basically choose whichever you prefer and feel like you've got the most skill to show off and if you're skilled in all three then submit stuff for all three. <laughs> Um, and yeah, the first challenge is called Destination Wedding, so like a beach or a jungle wedding, and I went for a rustic wedding. So I decided to build an open air location for this rustic wedding theme, and for that I created a massive hill with stairs on the side leading up to it, and it's basically supposed to be an old castle or something, um, which is why I used the ruins that come with Get Together from the debug section. And I use them for the stairs, so it looks really like broken but romantic in a way, uh, leading up to the main area. And then on the top, we have the leftovers of the main part of the castle, at the back especially, and then some more ruins on the side of the mountain. So yeah, it's a massive, massive area. My plan was for the top to be like the main area for dining, activities, drinks, etc. And then the bit on the side is for the wedding ceremony. In general, I love the rustic vibe for weddings. Before I started building, I actually looked at so many pictures on Google and Pinterest to, you know, get some inspiration for little wedding details that I normally wouldn't think of um, because I, I really wanted to put a lot of effort and detail into this build. Um, I found some great ideas, which I hope you guys will like. <laughs> Like I said, I loved putting lots of detail and little little things in this to make this more realistic and really cute. Yeah, I just wanted it to be perfect and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I've been so excited to show you this from the moment I started building. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I really want to know what you think of this idea and this vibe in general. And also let me know if you've submitted your own builds for this challenge. I used a lot of wooden details for the table decorations and created this little bit of decor with a tree stump from Outdoor Retreat, which is actually a seat, funnily enough. <laughs> but I sized it down and raised it up and then put some rustic flowers and candles on it. And in general, candles and lanterns are everywhere on this lot. Most of them are on the ground next to like, for example, the chairs for the ceremony or all the little tables with specific items on them, which we'll get to in a bit. I also put them on the windows of the ruins. I really wanted to create a very romantic vibe. And at night, this lot looks gorgeous with all the candles everywhere. But I filmed the final tour in the most beautiful sunset. It makes the ruins and everything look so pretty. And I can't wait for you guys to see the tour after the speed build part. But um, anyway, I decided to build like little areas for various purposes, which I think give this lot its character. So I built a cozy swing um, underneath the tree and a welcome sign. And like I said, I looked at cute little details real rustic weddings had and yeah, discovered so many cool things. So for example, there's this little table with photos of friends and family. And yes, I totally bought that kids room stuff pack just for this item, but don't judge, it was still during sale, so. <laughs> um, and there is a guest book and some wedding cards. And then the next area is like a pile of presents, which sits on 
these very rustic looking crates. Oh, and I also put shrubbery and flowers in front of the walls of the ruins, like all the way through. But I didn't leave most of that in the video because the video is already quite long and I didn't want it to be like an hour, so. <laughs> also, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the winners of the challenge are featured on the Sims Sparked website and could potentially appear on the next season of the show, which is super cool. But uh, I don't know how exactly it works. I'm pretty sure only the ones with the most hearts on the gallery are looked at or something and then rated, which is kind of sad because it just means people with a huge following will probably rank better with the hearts, but oh well. By the way guys, if you're enjoying this video and would like to see more speed worlds like this one, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if anybody would like to really, really support me in this challenge, I would highly appreciate if you gave this build a heart on the sims 4 gallery because that is how the winners are chosen i mean i probably won't win anyway because my build is coming quite late and i doubt i'll get enough likes but i appreciate every single heart i get just go to my profile on the gallery it's eva rotke with no space and heart this submission for the sims spark challenge that's it <laughs> Then the other ideas I created are a table full of drinks and another slightly bigger swing that I created using the already existing swings uh, in the game. And then I put some chopping boards from kitchen stuff up as like a back bit to lean against. <laughs> but this is obviously not functional, it's just for looks, but I think it's a very cute decorative item. And I also incorporated a s'mores stand with a little fire. I feel like that has to be part of a rustic wedding, especially in Granite Falls where this lot is located. I mean, it couldn't get better than that. And then another area is for all the beautiful flowers, which again sit on these rustic crates. And then there's a bar with another drink stand, but this one is for juice mostly. The other one has some wine as well, so it's more for like the adults at the wedding. <laughs> but the bar is also a little customized by me because I hated that metal look. It just didn't fit the style of the rest of the items. But at the same time, I love the fairy lights, so I really wanted to use it. So I just gave it some wooden cladding with the chopping boards again. And my personal favorite of the entire area is the dessert bar. I created a cake swing basically and I added a wedding cake after filming because you can't place it from the debug section so yeah I had to make a sim bake the cake first but I put it there and when you download the lot it will be there but yeah the rest of the desserts were all cupcakes and all sorts of bakery goods from the debug section which I again placed on these tree stumps and I'm honestly obsessed with the look of them it looks so adorable. And the final part of the wedding location is the area for the ceremony, which is like down those steps with a beautiful view of the waterfall in the background, super romantic. And I also decided to build a waterfall in the front. So at first I built it with the waterfall from Island Living, but I later changed it to the one from Discover University, just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, after that, I had to do so much landscaping around the entire hill. It was genuinely so much work and it genuinely took me days so I didn't include that stuff in the video but yeah the entire hill is covered in plants now. I know it might not look it but I put a lot of blood sweat and tears into this build and I really hope you enjoyed the video um, but don't leave yet because of the upcoming tour and yeah I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!